1 a.m. in the morning. I don't want to sound like this is the big brother house, but there's going to be individuals waking up, they're going to be getting going with the spiritual activity. It's actually inspiring to see what they do, how they get on with it. They don't really let anyone know as well, so they just get on with whatever they're going to be doing. So what is this whole thing? How do you manage to push yourself that much? What they've done, they push themselves, they've struggled. They've pulled inspiration from people that were working that much harder. Now I've been looking at their life, they don't really let themselves get too comfortable. Now there's a Swami that's been pulling back his wake up time by five minutes every year. So he gets five minutes to his day extra every year. Now he's waking up at one o'clock. What they're doing is once you get comfortable, you start pushing yourself that little bit more. It's a bit different to how I've been doing life, to be honest. Whenever I get comfortable, just try work more comfort into my life. Now here, they're always on the case to somehow better their life. They've got a lot of inspirational people to look up to. So when you start struggling, you start pulling inspiration from others to get the mental capacity, to get that will from inside to keep doing more. And you get a bit of desperation in you and then you seek that into your life. That's when you're naturally inspired and that's when you're actually filled with that. You've engraved it into you. That's your living experience now. What you've pulled from the inspirations around you. Now, I have to get going because I'm on Yardwa duty. Yardwa duty, the hardest shift I know here. What happens is, these guys, they're really strong. Now, I will get going. It's nice and easy at the start, really easy at the start. And then it starts getting heavier, really heavy. And because you've woken up at one o'clock, by four o'clock, you're mash up and then you still got another hour to pull off. So between three o'clock and five o'clock is Radwa duty. They get 500 kg worth made. It's a lot, it's mass scale. And this goes on for four to five days in a row. Four to five days in a row. First day, all nice and strong. Second day, kind of strong. And then third day, it's like, ah, oh, everything's hurting. This whole thing about doing it practically, that's where you learn probably 90% of everything here. 7.30 a.m. Now, everyone's just gonna shoot off, go to the activities that they're due to be doing. What happens, everything gets done before 7.30. Otherwise, if it doesn't get done at that time, you can't predict what's gonna happen in a day. So the, your daily routine, everything that you feel the need to get done, it just has to get done in the morning. Now. The days are longer here, but yet, by the end of the day, it feels like the day's gone so fast. But if you write a list of everything that you've done in the day, there's so much on that list. Trust, I write it out. And you're thinking, whoa, covered quite a bit today. Now, the individuals that came for Yardwa duty, they came at three o'clock. Now they're going to go, they're going to start work like it's a normal day. We wouldn't even know that they've pulled off a shift in the morning like they have. Hopefully, that's going to be me one day. But till then, I could just keep looking, keep inspiring to be better. And that's the standard after, you know what you're looking for. And then you know what's possible as well. So yeah, just take it from there.